Hello all, Sirius Lee is here, back for some more finishing permadeath, and we are in the home system of Isentome, and we're at the Galactic Trade Terminal to buy some metal plating, because today we're going to build some storage silos. Hey, look at that, 118, I need to buy exactly 18 to fill out my freighter, boom, we're going to go into our inventory, and we're going to transfer that over, boom, and Boom. Oh, the starship can hold three as well. How many are on the starship? Seven. Okay, well, let's buy three more for the starship. I want as many as I can carry, plus whatever ferrite I'm holding. So let's do it that way. Where'd it go? There it is. Oops. Three. And put that over there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 more is what I can hold. I could delete some glass to hold 60, but that's okay. We'll just take the 50, that's five more storage silos. Let's just hold down the mouse button. There we go. Perfect, all right, let's get out of here. Where are we going? We're going to a star local that I found, that I thought I had found on survival mode. This wasn't in survival serial, this was in finishing permadeath I found this star. And the reason I made note of it is because I hadn't found one yet nearby, and because I never built such a base in Permadeath. We've got lots of resources available for us. We even have Basalt in Permadeath, but we do not have activated Indium. So we are headed off to my new location for an activated Indium base, and I'm pretty sure this is it here, because there's a base symbol. And that's not the name of a star that I remember giving. So let's head there. It's also a blue star. So that's a pretty good bet that this is where we're headed. I could have marked it in the Discoveries tab, but why, uh, why make it easy? <laughs> I knew that I had put the base down. I've already built a minor structure. We could have just warped into the base, right? Could have just taken the teleporter from the space station. But why have starships if you're never going to fly them? So we've got three planets, we've got a dominant life form, we have zero economy and zero conflict data. That means if we head over to the space station that does exist, it's going to be busted up. There is, an, this is the, an abandoned star system, that's what it's called, abandoned. Nobody is here anymore. Somebody blowed up the space station. It's all abandoned and creepy. But you know what? That's not why we're here today. We are here for the planet. Obviously not this one. Let's take a scan while we're here. May as well take a peek what it is. Frostbound. Cool, cool. There's the one we're headed to. Uh, let's take a peek at the other one. What's that? Volcano? I don't think I've landed there yet. Yeah, that's a volcano with activated indium, basalt, and cobalt. Also, aggressive sentinels. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... Starbulb on a flourishing planet called Nodper... Nodper? I don't know how to say that. It needs more vowels. We're going to give it a different name eventually. I don't know what we'll call it yet. It's got some pretty uh, not pretty skies. Some fairly not pretty skies. That's how you would say that. <laughs> and I already have... Whoops. Sorry, ground. Didn't mean to shoot you. I already have some markers set out, so what we're going to do today is some extending of base borders. Oh, come on. Game. Let's see some stuff. Bubbles. There we go. Oh, the storm's clearing right when we get here. Well, we see right at the end, we can see those black clouds. We have a hazardous, non-hazardous lush planet with glowing bubble grass and bubbles in the atmosphere. It's a pretty okay planet. I am happy to have such an easy place to harvest activated India mat. So a little bit of a lookout place here for the storms, even though they aren't hazardous. You can, oh, we got grass growing inside. What are you gonna do about it? Get a lawnmower, I guess. So here's our little base. This is gonna be the center of operations. We're gonna put some storage silos inside. Maybe today, we'll see how that goes. But first things first, we've got to extend the base borders. And we've got to go, how far away? 
500 units that way. And 500 units that way. And that one looks like it's into the water. That one is white and this one is blue. So I'm guessing that's the indium and that will be power. Those are the only thing, two things we need today. Power and uh, minerals. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we're gonna need and what we've got here. We've got ferrite dust and we've got lots of carbon. So we can build wooden structures to extend the base borders. Let's get into that right away. Uh, wooden pieces are here. We'll just go with that one. It's fairly easy to see. And we'll rotate it out so it's sticking out of the ground. So we can see it as we go. So let's head over to that thing until we don't see building marker anymore. I mean, we could just take a peek at how close we are. To our base computer right as we run away 119 plus we're going downhill so we're gonna lose uh, ability to build in a little teeny bit I think what is it 300 is the distance so we can run about halfway to where we want to go to the shore at least can still build here at the shore but since I'm in the water I can't look up anymore there we are we're 210 away from the base and Where'd my marker go? Out to sea. Out to this little lake. So, yeah, I guess we're going for a swim. And why don't we just place one down there, right there? So we should be able to keep our target, our build ability. Place one down there. I don't know that we're out of build distance already, but we may as well just be safe rather than sorry. Another one there. How close are we to this thing now? We are 70 units away. Okay, this should probably be the last one we need to build. And where is our actual... There it is, it just phased in there. Okay, yeah, we can build, we have to build permissions here. So this is for power. Let's back out of build camera completely and we'll do a scan. I'm on the wrong multi-tool. Don't have an analysis visor on that tool, apparently. So we are at an A-class power hotspot. That's great. I won't have to put in very much power at all. We're at 81% right where we are. What are we at here? 82%. Can we get an 83? Doesn't need to be. 82 is pretty good. Oh, 83, right where we are right now. Uh, that's going to be sort of hard to see, but it's a little bit back behind this save beacon. Okay. Doesn't have to be exact, like I said. Said we're going to put in one of these floors because it has sort of a center point, and I feel like we should back away and do build camera. I should probably also check on my oxygen. Somewhere like here-ish was the center point, if I recall. All right, oxygen is running a bit low. Can I recharge it while underwater? I can. I don't know why you can sometimes and why you can't sometimes. Really annoying. <laughs> yeah, nope. And we'll do oxygen with that one. Okay, so let's get back to the scanner and see what we are right at the center here. 82% and we're pretty much right on center. 83, just off to the right of center. Okay, so I'm not gonna move the panel. I'm just gonna uh, install my thing a little bit off center. <laughs> uh, or should we move the panel? Let's move the panel. 
why not? We can just place it right on top, centered, but just off center slightly, right? Like that. And then we will delete the one underneath. We will add some walls to get this the height I would like it to be at. And we will delete, whoops, no, delete everything underneath. And I deleted the wall. That was so stupid. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to check this floor again. Great. Smooth move, X-Lax, as they used to say when I was a kid. All right, let's get back in here. 82%. Where's 83%? You know what? I think... Oh, we had it again. Where? Right on the edge here. 81. We're going the wrong way. Oh, 83 is pretty much centered here. Just a little bit off to the left now. Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> Maybe extending the base is a little bit beyond us today. For the time we have. Let's put those walls back in. Before we do anything else, let's move this floor up top. Build camera again, please. Thank you. And wow, yeah, that deleted everything underneath. That bug is still going on. That's fine. I did want to delete that stuff. Uh, build, delete. There we go. Didn't delete that wall, though. So we'll have to delete that one manually. That's fine. That's fine. So now we want to put in some power. We have enough to build six of these, and we do not need six of these. Okay. So, floor pieces. Let's put in some floor pieces. Um, let's go to legacy build parts, because they have full color range. Concrete floor panel. Uh, well, they don't really have full color range. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to put you in here. Uh, delete that and this is where we want to snap everything to so we have to choose power Let's just put one of you here and copy you and we need to put a floor in that we can copy to so let's go to this and change the color of that and we will make it uh, gray and black because why not so if we duplicate this snap it here uh, no sorry what we want to do is duplicate this and put it into the build key, uh, whatever it's called there we go like that now we want to duplicate that and there we go got one in and it should be the correct color yes put that back in duplicate that there we go we got two in Eight. Three in. I'm only going to do four because an eight cost power hotspot is whoops, plenty. There's four. So let's put in our actual floor piece, which can be one of these. And we'll delete the rest of the stuff. Good that I had room for that stuff. I forgot that concrete takes silica powder now. Uh, walls, please. And these are not going to be the color I want them to be, but we're not going to worry about color here underwater. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Come on. Snap the way I want you to. There we go. And actually, we can get the color I want just by snapping one underneath of these because a nice big black tower is uh, basically what I would like here. Oops, I don't know where that one snapped, but it was not in the right spot. There we 
go. That should be everything except for the one that snapped in wherever I don't know where it is. So while we're here, we're going to need to be in not build camera. How do I get out of that now that I'm here? Let's go to this. And where's the base? Over that way. All right, we want to be in wiring mode. Getting a bit of lag now suddenly, which is not ideal, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Snap it down to the marker. I'm going to leave the marker out here for now because we have to swim back out here to... Um, for what reason? For no reason. I could delete that. Okay, let's do that. If I have space to pick it up at least. Do I? Yeah, I got some space. Okay, let's do that. Go back into builds. Go into Y. Uh, no, hitting Q doesn't work. Build, build. There we go. All right, now we have to swim back to home base over that way by the ship. We have to make sure we don't lose connection. I'm just going to drag these through the ground. They'll be slightly visible, but that's okay by me. It says we can only build one of these, but I feel like that's a bug and we can build as many as we have uh, resources for, which I don't even know how much these cost to build. there. Not really a snap, more of a free place, but whatever. <laughs> We're almost out of the water. We don't have to refill our tanks just yet. And I'll snap this at the shoreline, I think right under this plant. Next one. There we go. We don't have any connectors to connect this to, like uh, power poles or anything like that set up yet. That's fine. We can redo that part later if we care to, but I think, if I'm looking here correctly, my base is 209 away and these can go 200, so if I find a spot just up the hill a little bit, hidden in a rock or something like that, in theory, or just, you know, right here on the ground, in theory, I can connect this without having to draw any more. We can just go all the way to the base and snap it to the solar panels that I have underneath powering the portal. Yeah, I'm only 80 away from the base computer already. So there should be a battery or something. Yeah, I'm seeing some snapping points here. I don't know which one's which, but probably the one that's centered is the battery. So let's snap it to the back there. There we go. Now we should have tons of power at this base, day or night. And now we have to go extend to the Indium side. So, we're going to go back on to, it doesn't matter what we're on, but let's not use that. Let's use ferrite dust because we've got lots of it. No, like I said, carbon because we've got lots of that. Come on, ship, get out of my way. How dare you be in my way? Yeah, don't know what's causing all the lag here, but I'm really happy with uh, the planet overall, even though the colors are not ideal. Especially the sky color. I am okay with the grass. The trees are very vibrant pinks. That's neat. And I think we have to make it just to the other side of uh, this geographical formation. The cat ears. So that's 300 away. So we're just about 200 away from the base if I swing around. Yeah. Get 220 from the base computer. And we can go to 300, right? Uh, where is my marker at? Hard to see. That's a dark blue. <laughs> so we're probably going to start losing building permission shortly.
base out of range. Okay, yeah, right here is where we can build at. Let's build one right there. Swing around here and we'll put one in the side of the cliff. There. And I'm actually going to snap one in there where it can't be seen and delete this one. And we'll do a similar thing right here. Because these ones we might actually walk over to, but we're not going to go underwater, probably. We can leave those ones that we drew for the power, no problemo. Oh, we can't build on these uh, crystals here. It's fine. Rotate that. Hmm. I feel like uh, if we're going to build camera, we're going to be able to see this one. Oh, no, not really. Okay. So, we're going to have about and just enough time to, uh, to get there, and by the way, where are we headed? Over this way? Again, hard to see at night. It's a very bad choice, Blue. <laughs> How far away are we? 100 units away. Okay, let's build one more power um, extender here. Let's go a little bit further, actually. And rotate that like this. And we'll one closer to us. There we go. And we might need one more before we get there. We'll see. I can see the thing now. I'm getting a lot of lag. Sorry about that. I think if what I do is I just build my platform, it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is back out of build, go to visor mode, and look for minerals. See how close this marker is to the A-class mineral hotspot? We're going to make tons of stuff here real quick, like. Analysis complete, and we are at 71 of 80. That is nowhere close to max. Let's find 80. 78. Oh, oh, oh. 80 right where I'm standing, so just behind this thing to the left. Do I have building permissions here? Nope. So let's back up. Do I have building permissions here? I do. So let's go into this floor, build mode. And now I should have build permissions over here. So it was just to the left of this and behind. Right about there, I think. And we're going to go check. Come on, lag. Oh, my gosh. Such bad lag right now. Oh, my God. It's I've had way, way, way worse. Sure, sure, uh, obviously. But... <laughs> Uh, on to minerals, whoops, 79%, 78, well, 79 seems to be right at the center of the panel, oh, I had 80 for a second, Yeah, it's like right over here-ish. <laughs> a little bit closer than I thought. You know what? That's that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a similar thing that I did on the Volcano Planet. But first of all, we've got the base extended. That's all we need. Let's put in one, right? And do we have time to connect it back up to base? No, we don't. So... What we'll do is we'll leave the markers here, we'll head back to base and we'll put the storage silos in and get rid of all of that metal plating we bought at the beginning. 
So the base is extended, the marker is still here. Yeah, what a pretty planet, especially at night. This place is great, and especially during storms too. It's really cool during storms. Which I think this is one of, actually. Because it's a uh, negative one degree Celsius. What a terrible storm. Water would freeze, to be fair. Oh, come on. So, where do we want the storage silos to go in? Do we want them here on the landing pad? Sometimes I do that. I put them on this little thing here. Right? Uh, but I don't really have a good way to snap them in there, do I? Let's go into build camera. Let's get inside out of this terrible, terrible negative one degree storm. Go to build camera. Uh, sure, we'll pick uh, the floor. <laughs> go to build camera. There we go. Actually, yeah, the floor is what I want. I want to see if there's any snap points here based on stuff that I've installed, like, say, these. Okay, yeah, I can get a floor to snap here. The center of that floor would be where that green cursor is. Hmm. So I could snap some storage silos in right there. Let's see what that looks like, actually, by putting that there for now. And going to, is it in here? Yeah. Supply Depot. Put one here. We will change the color. Um, of the floor piece? Yes, the floor piece, because that's what we're going to be copying. And I can pick the blue I want. That's great. Dark blue for indium. Cool, so that's a blue floor. So now we copy this. We do the build queue thingy. We copy the floor. We snap the floor in and hit Q. Yeah, that's that's great. That's a perfect snap. That's almost exactly where I would want it to be. Can I do that on the other side as well? Do we have an equal snap point for that over there? Let's uh, put it in the thingy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like we certainly do. Now the thing is with these storage tiles, I'm gonna have to make sure the way that I'm snapping it in. Yeah, that's the one, that's level the same direction because the six is on f four sides but uh, where's the piece got a lot of lens flares going on because of the storm let's get out of build mode there we go see this red seam that is only on one of the four sides so if I want these to all line up and not flicker a lot I have to do a lot of uh, maneuvering those around mm, as I snap them in but yeah, that'll work. Uh, how much storage should we get here? I'm thinking I want, like, something ridiculous. Not lava lamp ridiculous. Uh, something just ridiculous, like, say, 20,000. So maybe 20 storage silos. So that is 200 metal. <laughs> that's a bit ridiculous, but I think that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, this is very blue planet. Super blue. Uh, so, especially at night and during storms. So we're going to get some activated indium here. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today on Bermadeath. And I'll have this finished up next time. But until then, have a good time.